Welcome to this hip flexor strength session for beginners. We're starting this one on the mat and we're gonna come round so that we are on our elbows. So you wanna pull the elbows all the way back. Now, if shoulders are gonna restrict you doing this, then you can come flat to the floor, but ideally we've got ourselves propped up like this. And we're gonna do a little dip and arch of the back. So we're gonna arch the back towards the ceiling and then drop it down towards the floor. Do that a couple of times. And then you wanna settle somewhere in the middle of those two extremes. So settle in the midpoint and then pull in those lower abdominals because we're gonna try and hold this position now through the back. So we want all the movement to be in the leg, nothing going on through the middle. And all you're gonna to do to start is pick up the left leg and we're gonna send it away, tap it heel on the floor, bring it back in. Tap and away, bring it back in. We're gonna stick with this left leg, tap and away, bring it back in. Good. So everything else is nice and still. We're not sinking into the shoulders, so pull away from the floor there. It's a nice bit of core work as well. We're not moving through the back. We've got 10 more seconds like this. Tap it away, draw it back in. Tap it away. Good. On the next one, we're going to leave the leg long and we're just going to lift it straight up, straight down but not let it touch the floor. So it hovers off the floor and then straight back up. Slow down, drive up. Slow down, drive up. As you take the leg up, you're trying not to drop in your lower back towards the floor. And as the leg lowers, you're trying not to arch the back towards the ceiling. So trying to keep as still as possible through the body. And then those lovely hip flexors are gonna do all the work. Good, I've got 20 seconds. Drive up, slow down. Drive up, slow down. We've got a nice straight leg. Last five seconds. And rest, bring that leg in. We're gonna pick up the other leg. We're gonna do the same thing. So right leg extends away, taps the floor and then comes back in. Remembering that you're trying not to sink into the shoulders and you're trying to keep the body as still as possible. So no arching or dipping of the back towards the ceiling or floor. Lower abs in, keep the breath flowing. Just keep scanning your mind down your body. So lifting away from the floor with the shoulders, making sure the back is still, making sure the breath is flowing. That's it. And then we are gonna leave the leg long and we're gonna do a straight up, straight down. And we don't want, to don't want to touch the floor with the leg. It's a drive up and a slow down. Drive up, don't let the back drop towards the floor as you drive up. Hold it nice and still through your center. Drive up, slow down. Good, we've got 15 seconds left. Drive up, slow down. Good, last five seconds. And we are done with that leg. Come all the way to the floor. So nice and flat to the floor. Excuse me, <clears throat> same thing with the lower back. So push it into the floor, arch it towards the ceiling. Find that middle ground when you're ready and lock into that position. You're gonna have your hands in front of you. So you're gonna put one hand on top of the other. We're just gonna bring one knee at a time. As we bring the knee in, we're gonna push it away with our hands and then release. Same on the other side. Bring the knee in, push away with your hands, release. So as the knee comes in, it's almost like you're trying to stop the knee from reaching you. Push it away, release. Push it away, release. So there's a little pause while you push. Keep that pressure on and then switch. God, keep the movement continuous so we're not really giving them much of a break in between. So a couple more. We 
we're going to pause with the left knee up. So next time the left knee comes in, keep that pressure. So pulling the knee in as you're trying to push it away. And then we're going to slide the right leg away as we do it. So we're going to slide the right leg away and back. Away and back. It doesn't need to lift off the floor, although it can if you want to challenge yourself. It can just slide away along the floor. The key is to keep that pressure on the left knee whilst you're trying to pull that left knee in towards you. So there's a lot of core, a lot of hip flexors. Don't let the back arch or dip. Keep the pressure on the knee. Good. Last couple. And then we're going to switch. So bring that left knee down, bring the right knee in. So you're pulling the right knee in as you're pushing it away. Keep that pressure. Slide and release on that left leg. Good. Slide and away. Keep that pressure. So keep trying to pull the right knee in as you're pushing it away. Keep that pressure up. Make sure you're not arching the back and you're not flattening it into the floor either. Let's just do a little core check, lower back check. Last few. And then release, just hug the left knee in, extend the right leg away. Have a little stretch. Nice big breaths. Release the left leg, hug the right knee. So left leg is long, right knee is pulled in. Nice big breaths. Good, now if you just push your knee into your hands and pull yourself up, and from here we're gonna come up to standing. So once you come up to standing, we're going to be feet hip distance apart and we want to imagine those headlights on our hip bones and we're going to try and keep them as level as possible. So imagine that piece of string is pulling you up towards the ceiling. So we're nice and tall. We've got those low abdominals gently engaged and our headlights as level as we can, although we can have our arms out for balance. We're just going to do single leg lift. So just marching on the spot, just bringing the knee up as high as you can manage. Pause and then slowly releasing it down. And like I say, with those headlights, just trying to keep them as level as possible so that when the knee comes up, we're not hitching off to the side or dropping the hip. So pausing slowly back down. Drive it up, slowly back down. Drive up, slow down. So I've got 30 seconds more if we can make it. Hopefully balance is okay. You can have a light connection to a wall if, or surface if you're really struggling to balance and then you can focus on driving the knee all the way up. So if balance is really challenging for that, then by all means grab that little bit of connection. Good, and we are done. We're going to stay as we are though. We're going to keep nice and upright, draw the leg up, extend it in front, come back and then down. So draw it up, try and keep the knee high. So the key with this one is as you extend the leg, not dropping it. So trying to keep the leg up, the knee up, extend and then down. So pull it up, extend it out, back and down. The other thing we just want to watch out for is that we're not throwing the weight back to get the leg out. So nice and tall. So it's great for core, great for your balance, as well as working into the quads as well and hip flexors. Excuse me. <clears throat> Good, keep that going. Like I say, you can have the hands in if you don't need the help with balance. Good, last 10 seconds. Extend. Nice work. Good, so we're just gonna pick one leg, doesn't matter which one you start with. 
taking it out and we're gonna lower and lift a straight leg. Good, lift and lower. Get up as high as you can without throwing the weight back. So you're as still as possible in the body. Drive it up, slowly lower. Drive it up, slowly lower. Good, nearly there. And then switching, same on the other leg, nice straight leg. Drive up, slow down. Drive up, slow down. So we've got engaged through our center. So it's quite good core work as well. Keep the leg as straight as you can at the knee. So try not to bend because we've done that action. Nearly there. Good, drive up, slow down. Last one. And down, shake it off. Hold onto a wall or surface and just grab hold of one foot. As you take the foot behind you, just squeeze your bottom, push your hips forward, and we'll just get a little stretch across the front. Nice big breaths. And then switching to the other leg. Same thing, pick the foot up, push the hips forward, and then you feel that stretch across the front. Nice big breaths. Release. And we are done for that session.